Hi everyone, Windows 11 will officially launch on June 24. However, ahead of the official release, the ISO file of the beta version has been leaked on the internet. Windows 11 comes packed with several new features which are more than enough to make people curious about the latest release. In this video, you will learn the steps to install this version of Windows 11 on VirtualBox. Use these steps. First, open VirtualBox on your computer and click on the new button visible at the top. Next, enter a name and choose the OS name. As of now, Windows 11 option is not available in VirtualBox. Therefore, you can select Windows 10, 64-bit, and click the next button. Next, choose how much RAM you want to allocate to this virtual machine, and click the next button. Next, on the next screen, select Create Virtual Hard Disk option and click the Create button. Next, choose the VDI, Virtual Disk Image, option and click the next button. Next, select the Dynamically Allocated option and again click the next button. Now you must choose how much virtual storage you want to allocate to your virtual disk. It is suggested to select at least 25 gigabytes of storage and click the create button. Once the virtual machine is created and visible on the left side, click on the start button. Then it will ask you to choose the startup disk. Expand the drop down list and select the ISO file. However, if it is not visible there, click on the file icon, add and choose the ISO file and finally click on the choose button. Next, click the start button once done. The installation process starts immediately after choosing the language, time, and keyboard method. Next, click the install now button and click I don't have a product key option and choose the OS edition you wish to install. Next, choose the custom, install Windows only, advanced, option. Then it shall display the virtual drive as unallocated space. Click on the new and apply buttons respectively. Next, once done, click the next button. You will view the installing Windows screen now. Don't do anything. At last, you will encounter the screen where you want to choose the country, region, input method, keyboard layout, etc. Once done, you can start using Windows 11 on your existing computer without uninstalling Windows 10. If you're watching my video for the first time, please make sure to grab the subscribe button to get the thumbs up and turn on your notifications. So you never miss an update. See you in the next video.